Aggravated sexual intercourse with a child between 14 and 16 years of age is an offence under section 66, subsection 4 of the New South Wales Crimes Act. The maximum penalty is 12 years imprisonment. It is a strictly indictable offence, which means it must be decided in a higher court, such as the district court. It cannot be decided in the local court. To be guilty of the offence, the prosecution must prove three things beyond reasonable doubt. The first is that you had sexual intercourse with another person. The second is that the person was aged over 14 and below 16. And the third is that there was a circumstance of aggravation. In relation to element one, that is that you had sexual intercourse, there is a video on this website about the definition of sexual intercourse. In relation to element two, that the person was over 14 and below 16, the prosecution must prove what's called knowledge of consent. That means they must prove beyond reasonable doubt that you either one, knew the other person was under the age of consent, that is under 16, or two, were reckless as to whether the other person was under 16, or three, that you had no reasonable grounds for believing that the other person was under 16. Now this is determined through a whole range of surrounding circumstances. For example, it might be determined through your dealings leading up to the incident, or the context in which the incident occurred, or any specific inquiries that you may have made about their age, and of course their responses to those inquiries, or other information that you received about age. The third element that the prosecution must prove is at least one of nine of the aggravating circumstances. The first aggravating circumstance is that you intentionally or recklessly inflicted actual bodily harm upon the child or someone else who was present. The second is that you threatened to inflict actual bodily harm on the child or someone nearby. Three, that there were two or more people at the time of the offence, that is, you and at least one other person. Four, that the child was under your authority, for example, you were their parents, teacher, carer or babysitter. Five, that the child had a serious cognitive impairment. Six, that the child had a serious physical disability. Seven, that the child was deprived of their liberty before or after the offence. Eight, that you took advantage of a child under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Or nine, that you committed another serious offence at the time. For example, if you broke and entered the place before the offence was committed. The sentencing statistics for those who are found guilty suggest that 78% of people were sent to prison. The average prison sentence was a three year full term, that is the entire sentence, and a 12 month non-parole period. The non-parole period is the time that you must spend in jail before being able to apply to get out of jail. 11% of the people got what's called a suspended sentence. And that's a good behaviour bond, which if breached, will likely mean that you are sent to prison. If you are pleading not guilty, your lawyer should push for the withdrawal of the case at an early stage. They may be able to do this by establishing that there is insufficient evidence of sexual intercourse, or insufficient evidence that you were aware of the other person's age. They may be able to do this by presenting evidence to the contrary or insufficient evidence of an aggravating circumstance existing. Now in that case, the prosecution may drop the charge and press a less serious charge of, without aggravation and that charge may be able to be kept in the local court. If you wish to plead guilty, your lawyer should of course fight to keep you out of prison, for example, by way of a suspended sentence or a good behaviour bond.